Jeremy de Koop. What a guy he is. The Belgian is tearing the English Premier League apart as one of Manchester City's brightest performers. Last season, he played for Humble Ren, and today he is a star of the world's strongest club. Today, the Football Club channel will tell you about Jeremy Doku's incredible progress under Pep Guardiola. Press the like button if you are impressed with the Belgian's performances, and write in the comments down below from which city and country you are watching us. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. In the summer, Manchester City have agreed to sell Riyad Mahrez, thus adding one more big name to the list of significant attacking losses the citizens suffered in recent seasons. Sané, Sterling, Jesus, and Mahrez. Luckily, Pep Guardiola still had Bernardo, Grealish, Foden, Alvarez, and Holland in his arsenal. On September 1st, Chelsea sold Cole Palmer, one of the club's brightest young stars. With that said, the arrival of Jeremy Deku was necessary and extremely important to inject new, fresh blood into the roster. On August 24th, it was reported that the travel winners signed a 21-year-old Belgian from Rennes for 60 million euros. Some might have been surprised by a huge price tag, but now everyone can see the Premier League champions getting an absolute beast. You see, such a price is still a bargain, especially in the current transfer market conditions. Besides, Palmer was sold to Chelsea for 47 million euros, while 32-year-old Mars left to Al Ali for 35 million euros. So, the new winger operation went extremely successful, with the difference being 22 million euros added to the Sky Blues budget. Nevertheless, since the transfer was announced to the public, many pundits began to doubt the adequacy of the price, because the coup was not very effective in Liga 1. For example, throughout the 2022-23 campaign, he scored only 7 goals and delivered 4 assists in 35 appearances. The 2021-22 season was frankly the most disappointing one with 2 goals and 2 assists in 18 appearances. His most productive year at Rennes was the 2020-21 season, which saw him providing 4 goals and 8 assists in 44 appearances. As for a forward who is now put in the same row with the world's top stars, the guy didn't convince much during his spell at Anderlecht either. Six goals and eight assists in 41 games. So why did Man City take such a risk? And was it a risk at all? There is a story that perfectly showcases the boy's potential. Back in 2021, Kylian Mbappe was asked which of the Liga 1 performers made the biggest impression on him. Recently, I was speaking with my father about a player who impressed me because of his speed qualities, that is, the coup at Ren. I've never seen someone from a standing start demonstrate so much power. When you impress Mbappé himself, you certainly have what it takes to become a top-notch footballer. At Ren, the coup was remembered precisely as a monster of speed, a monster of dribbling, and a big headache for all opponents. He was always on top in terms of speed and dribbling, and therefore created chances. There are key metrics for a winger, and no wonder why Manchester City and other top club scouts, not to mention many reports about Barcelona's interest, didn't let Jeremy off their raiders for quite a while. Eventually, the battle for the coup was won by Manchester City, as Guardiola demanded a new winger from the club's management. Sporting director Chiki Begerstein has long known a guy who can help with the matter and that's how the Belgian with reactive agility appeared at the Etihad. Deku himself was in the cloud nine after the deal was sealed, expecting significant progress in his performances. Manchester City are the best team in world football, so to be joining them is something very special for me and my family, Deku told the Man City website. I'm a young player with so much learning and improving to do. Working with Pep and his staff and playing alongside these working-class players will make me a much better player. I feel sure of that. By the end of the day, he was right. That's exactly what happened. When you're one and one with him, there is only one thing left to do. Pray. Thierry Henry has said of the coup, whom he worked with for the Belgian national team. And indeed, these words of the world's football legend turned out to be very accurate, to say the least. 
Premier League defenders find themselves in complete shock when such an explosive footballer steps into the pitch to compete against them. And don't forget the support from other spectacular Manchester City players. Things are going so well for the prospect that after 14 opening games for the citizens, Jeremy already can boast of a rather serious stats. Four goals and six assists, three more contributions, and it'll be his best season run in terms of goal involvements, while it's only November. Deku's performance against Bournemouth, in which the Belgian scored one goal and also delivered four assists, was especially stunning. A performance of an absolute beast indeed. His impressive display will be written in Premier League's history books also because no one had ever provided five goal involvements in a single Premier League match at such a young age before. The Belgians started against Bournemouth at the age of 21 years and 161 days. Moreover, the 21-year-old winger joined the exclusive club of footballers who managed to give assists four times in one match. Have a good look at these names. Pep Guardiola just can't get enough of his latest signing. Hence, Jeremy was the main topic of the post-match press conference after the fateful match. I'll be honest, I've been a little surprised. He created something for the crowd. When he takes the ball, everyone gets excited. Me too. Man City manager noted significant progress in the maturing of the player. In his first game, he was too shy, but then he started to show his incredible skills. He has surprised all of us how he reads every action, what he has to do and his quality close to the box. It's difficult to find a player today with the ability to dribble in small spaces. Guardiola realizes he has a real diamond in the rough to work with and mentions his main skill – explosive speed across the first 5 meters. He is one of the fastest players across 5 meters. It's incredible how he can change the rhythm and distance. He's able to make good decisions, and I'm impressed with that. Deku's glow up is sensational also because he benched not just anyone, but Jack Grealish himself, who was one of the best wingers last season. Jeremy had 497 minutes in the Premier League, while Jack got 295. In the Champions League, there is actually a parody. 136 minutes versus 162 in favor of the Englishman. Right now, Jeremy Deku is among the best wingers in the world and a potential contender for the Ballon d'Or award. Now this is the progress under the guidance of Pep Guardiola we are talking about. Now let's dive a little more into how Guardiola uses the strength of his new super talent. Manchester City coach puts the Belgian in the position of the left winger and in the position of the right winger too. However, as you can see, Deku is mostly useful as a left forward. The first thing Guardiola and his team worked on was the mastering of his decision-making skills. Man City coaching staff thought that was exactly what Jeremy lacked to be more effective. And after the match versus Bournemouth, Pep admitted that Deku even managed to surprise him with the way he quickly adapted to the team's requirements. What surprised me the most is how clever he is when he has to make a decision. It's really good. He applies feedback immediately. He understands the game really well. I don't want to change how he is. Every game he has played, he has played well. Guardiola understands that he doesn't need to significantly change the cool style of play. Since he is a natural born winger, whose forte is to win the run against the defender and intensify the game further on. Not everyone can become a key player of the current Champions League triumphants after moving in from such a modest club as Ren. Here's what Pep has to say about the phenomenon of Deku. Why Jeremy is trusted by a team? There are rules on the pitch that are not dictated by the manager. Why do players pass more to certain other players? They are not stupid. They know that to give him the ball in the final third, he's gonna create something. It's natural. In addition, Guardiola dwelled upon one of the many episodes from the team's life, which gave the newcomer respect from the team's representatives. In the training session two days ago, he had a competition in a small pitch against Kyle Walker and whoever he beat him. And that's why when the players see that, they think, OK, I'm gonna give the ball to this guy because maybe he is gonna create something. It's natural, it's not. Guys, we have to give the ball to Jeremy all the time. The fact that the Sky Blues footballers trust and believe in the coup can be noticed in the team's past maps. 
where the Belgian is always one of the most involved footballers. Here's the game versus Brighton. Here we have the tie with West Ham United. This one is the match versus Wolverhampton. And finally, a masterpiece showing versus Bournemouth. Jeremy Deku is a footballer whom people will expect more miracles from. But he wasn't always like that at Man City camp. A crucial moment happened during the clash against Fulham when the coup was very shy in his movements and actions. Guardiola noticed that, and here's how he transformed his words mentality. I saw him shy, and we talked about that. I said to him, Why are you here? Why did Manchester City decide to invest in you? For your skills. What are your skills? Dribble, yeah. Aggressive, yeah. You've done it all your life? Yeah, so do it. You are a winger, you are close to the box. We'll do all the process, so when you have the ball, it's one against one. If it's one against two or three, it depends on you. If you're confident enough to go one against two or one against three, if you're able to do it, then do it. Otherwise, we have one or two men free. And it's that decision-making that has really impressed me. When asked what shaped him as a player, Deku had this to say. I used to have players I loved to watch. Lionel Messi, Ronaldinho, players who were brilliant dribblers, Jeremy told. You had good mantras to follow, Jeremy Deku. Keep it up. The whole football world is watching you grow. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and will give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Football Club is a channel of high-quality football journalism. Take care and we wish you all the best. Bye-bye.